Elvis Presley, I Have a Dream. While I am pretty familiar with Elvis' discography, um, and I have seen the Elvis movie, let me know if you've seen the Elvis movie in the comments below. If you liked it, didn't like it, I'm curious your opinion. I watched it on a plane a couple, year, uh, a couple months back. But while I am pretty familiar with his discography, I am not familiar with his song, I Have a Dream. So thank you, Sharon, for the recommendation. I'm very much looking forward to checking this out because... Um, as as somebody as a musician, like I very much, very much appreciate what Elvis has done uh, for the music community in the sense of like how he he transitions rock and roll to what it is, you know. Um, in fact, I have a a friend that has a tattoo on one of his arms, and I believe it says it's either it's fifty six or nineteen fifty six, um, and I believe that's the year. Don't quote me on. That. I think it was fifty six uh, when uh, when Elvis first appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show, and he like changed rock and roll forever um and he, he's like you know he's a rock and roll lover my friend uh so that being said i'm really looking forward to checking this out if you're new to the channel welcome i appreciate you coming to check it out spend some time with me your time is valuable and thank you for spending it with me uh if you're not new to the channel thank you so much again for coming back that's even cooler let's get right into this uh elvis if i can dream i do want to comment really quick i realized uh, in the very intro of this video, I called it I Have a Dream. Um, I think I just misread it originally. <laughs> I see it as titled If I Can Dream. This is from the 98, sorry, 68. Come, I'm talking too much. It hasn't, I'm talking, it hasn't started. <laughs> 68 comeback special, If I Can Dream, Elvis Presley. I like those horns. There must be lights burning brighter somewhere Got to be birds flying higher in a sky more blue If I can dream of a better land Where all my brothers walk hand in hand Tell me why, oh why And understanding sometimes Strong winds of promise That will blow away all the doubt and fear If I can dream of a warmer sun hmm. Where hope keeps shining on oh, everyone Tell me why, oh why, oh why Won't that sun all right, let's talk about this so far. There's a lot to talk about. One of the things um, I think this song so far really showcases is Elvis is the, the the power in his voice, um, in the sense that we you know he's got an incredible voice. We all know that, but he has a very interesting register where he like sings pretty full bodied, kind of lower in the register, which it kind of you don't hear a ton of belting going on by Elvis, or at least in my experience, um, it's this very almost like soulful like heavy like you know kind of like just full rounded body uh it sounds like we're describing like a wine um <laughs> but like a full rounded body voice timbre voice but what's cool is in this melody he goes up a bit and he kind of really starts to belt a little and he's using a, a bit more of that like like thinner brighter chest voice as opposed to the, the wider deeper um chest voice you know just the different placement of how he pronounces the words how he sings how he hits those notes i um, mean it's kind of cool to see the variation there um i gotta say lyrically so i don't know i, I don't recall um elvis what elvis is um how much he was in his writing like you know, i know there was a lot of time in this time period there was a lot of writers that would write for artists i don't know if elvis wrote or not i don't recall to be completely honest with you um if he was part of it in the writing process but I want to talk about this song and just the writing process, and, and, and it's a, it's it's a heavier topic. Saying why can't we all um, get along, essentially? And and one of the things I want to say as a songwriter myself and comment on as a songwriter is how hard it can be to write a song about a subject like that without making it one way too dramatic, where it's like it's it's too heavy to listen to, and it's like it's just it's not like you're not going to it's not going to be catchy or people aren't going to listen to it or the other side which is even like I feel like more typical is making it too cheesy 
and then, like this like wh- why can't we be friends concept and it's like really easy to be overly cheesy with that and um i admire the fact that like this is not it's like he's ta- he's getting you totally know what he's talking about you totally relate to what he's talking about um and it's a relatable topic that you could bring back and sing these lyrics 2000 years ago today or 2000 years from now and we're, as humans we're <laughs> i'd like to say we're, we're we'd all get along but we don't we're fallen people and we don't get always get along and and it's always been the case for all of humanity and it'll always be the case uh for all of humanity like we just won't always get along so th- it's cool to actually to see these kind of lyrics done really well where it's it's relatable whenever um and then i also want to talk lastly about so far the the set design i uh, they really, they they really didn't spare a dollar with these kind of sets, especially what, from what I, you know, I'm talking, we're talking about the, the Hollywood production, but like in the movie that I was, the Ellis movie, when he did that special, um, just all the stuff that they did, the music, the the lights, the this, the cameras, like they weren't sparing a dollar, and it was not cheap to do that stuff back then, um, and I just find that really impressive. Uh, last comment is is the reverb. There's a ton of reverb on his voice, and I would have been curious to hear a slightly dialed back version without a bit of the reverb. <laughs> Hear that grit? See, like, I feel like you don't hear so much of this Elvis as much. Uh, I feel like you hear more of that, like, you know, like, you hear that. Um, But you don't hear this, like, grit. And I like this, man. That soulful, painful voice. Yeah, nice. I'm sorry, I got to pause one more time with comments. I like how much he's like, you could tell that he's feeling this. That it's not, he's not just, he's like singing from his soul as opposed to singing from his head, if that makes sense. Again, talking about that reverb, I do wish it was, re- the reason I say I wish it was dialed back a little bit is for two things. One, I wish it was dialed back a little bit more because it, one, is a little hard to understand the words. It's kind of overshadowing a bit of the words. And two, it's it's super contrasted to the music. The music is this super dry. The horns, the drums, it's all super dry. So to have a super wet reverb of a sound, it kind of just feels contrasted to me. Um, I also want to talk about the music. The music is phenomenal. Like the production is really like really nice production. Uh, I mean, this is coming on almost sixty years ago, fifty five years ago, fifty four years ago, no, fifty six years ago. Um, you know and. It, it, it is pretty impressive how good the quality is for that long ago. I mean, hey, you know, I, I think that said it was great. It wasn't that long ago, you know what I mean? <laughs> but in terms of technology, it was. You know, like we, I don't even know, you know, where we were in the recording. It was all analog back then. There's no digital stuff back then. So, like, technolo- technologically, it was, you know, um, forever ago. In terms of life, it was not. My dad was born. Okay, like, like, you know, he was already born. So it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Question. That rhyme scheme. Classic resolution on that right there. Dude, that set is so sick, man, with the L, big L was behind him. It's so cool. This was phenomenal, man. I really, really enjoyed the the the, 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 the meaning behind these lyrics, the, the, the actual you know production itself, his performance. This was phenomenal. So thank you, Sharon, for this recommendation. I really appreciate you. Thank you for everybody that watches. Um, let me know what you want to check out next. I'm really curious to see it.
you know, I, I do want to get a little bit more into Elvis uh, and his, you know, just his performances and stuff. So let me know what your favorite is in the comments below, and I'll try to check him out. Thank you so much for watching. Best way to support the channel is checking out my own original music. Have a great day. God bless and peace out.